welcome back, everybody. We're going to keep introing to the year 2022 with um, another great guitar intro uh, demo and lesson. Um, so this one is from The Pretenders, and the song is called Brass and Pocket. It was their first hit. Um, pretty sure it was from 1979 or 80. And... Um, we're just going to walk through that little piece of greatness. Um, hey, if you haven't done so already, I'd love for you to go down and click subscribe and ring the bell. It'll let you know every time I'm dropping new content, which I do every single week. And let me know in the comments what you think. All right, so Brass and Pocket. Um, this is going to violate my rule about the intro a little bit because we're actually going to go into the verse um, a hair, but who cares? We're making it up as we go along. So um, this song is played on six string. It sounds very much like, almost like there's a 12 string going on in there. Um, it's hard to say what the guitar was. I think they played tellies a lot. Um, James Honeyman uh, Scott, who was the uh, lead guitar player in the band, um, he's pictured playing a couple different guitars um, during that era. But, you know, the telly is so versatile, I'm gonna go with that. Um, and it could have been that. I know Chrissy Hine plays that a lot. But I think the main part that you're hearing on the record is what um, James Honeyman Scott is playing. Okay, um, so the first chord um, shape that you're going to hear, and this is all sort of rooted in A. You know, the chord sequence is sort of an A, F sharp minor, D, um, is sort of the basis of this part of the song. Um, but it's a lot of jangle to it, a lot of open strings going on. So the intro is just, um, it's almost like you're making a piece of a A bar chord up here. You'll see the chord shapes over my shoulder. Um, but you're gonna leave the E and the B string open. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, just play strings four through one, maybe catch five, because that's your open A. And you're going to do this. In terms of tone, you know, I'm on my bridge pickup and I've got a uh, chorus going on. Um, and, um, but that's really all there is to it. It's just an A chord um, with a suspended for a second. Right? That's a strumming pattern. Then it kicks into actually the beginning of the verse. Um, and you're going to come up here and put your fingers on um, 9 and 11, like you see here on the third and fourth string. And you're going to repeat this pattern. So the bass is playing an A note over this. And it's holding an A. And you do this. bass goes down to an F sharp, but you still play the same thing. Right, F sharp minor is sort of the relative minor to A, so it all works. Um, and then uh, it kicks into the sort of the D chord based part. Um, but you don't play a D chord. Um, and uh, you play, uh, you're still at this position here, um, and all you're gonna do is pick backwards from strings one and two, and three. And then you're gonna play a little repetitive um, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off on uh, the G string while you're mixing in um, strings two and one. So that's. Difficult to talk about, but here's what it sounds like. That's how I hear it. So, one time all together. F sharp. goes 
right back to it. So yeah, so that's the the magic of all that is the bass that's happening underneath the whole thing. It's A, F sharp, D, to E. Um, sort of ends up being sort of a E sus when you're making that chord between the D and the E. It's kind of a neat sort of E sus, and there's a seventh note in there because you have the D. Uh, but it all sounds very jangly, sort of Rickenbacker-ish, but it's not. These are all six-string guitars. Could have been a six-string Rick, but um, but it almost sounds 12-string. So That's it for the intro. So hey, if you haven't done so already, please go down and click subscribe and ring the bell. It'll let you know every time I'm dropping new content, which I do every week, and let me know in the comments what you think. And if there's another intro you want me to take on in Spotlight, let me know that too. I love doing these quick little lessons on this. Um, and uh, guitar intros are a little special place in my heart. Um, okay, so until next week, take care, everybody.